So we're here at WWDC uh, checking out all the new updates that Apple just announced on stage for iOS and macOS. Now one of the big things that it announced for iOS is called ARKit 2. Now that's an updated framework of its augmented reality uh, tool set for developers. It basically lets developers uh, make even more advanced augmented reality apps using the smartphone's cameras and its sensors. Uh, now, one of the new updates that's coming with ARKit 2 is called Multiplayer AR Games. Now, essentially, you make an app, an ARKit app, and you're allowed to bring everybody into one shared world. That means multiple people with multiple devices are all seeing the same thing that's fixed in space, but it's made out of code and it doesn't really exist. Now, one of the games Apple developed just to show this off is called Swift Shot. It's a multiplayer game, a multiplayer slingshot game, and it supports up to four players at the same time. Now what we did was me and Dieter were on the same team. We were facing two other attendees here at WWDC. We each had an iPad Pro, a 9.7 inch iPad Pro, and we had a, a whole table full of uh, obstacles that we had to knock down using a slingshot. The goal of the game was to knock down your opponent's three flags, and if your slingshot got knocked down, you had to move to another one and use that one instead. Now for a game that I've never played before, we were pretty good at it actually, and we won both of our games back to back. Where's the last one? The last oh, what's one up? Oh, we just want to okay. get it. <laughs> now, that said, it is still quite difficult. You really have to move around. You have to get angles. You have to basically get lower, higher. You have to really uh, use the physical space uh, to take advantage of uh, the full breadth of the augmented reality features. Now, we saw something similar uh, at Google I.O. where Google uh, introduced uh, cross-platform augmented reality multiplayer games. But on iOS, uh, and especially with ARKit sophistication, you can expect to see a little bit more polished experiences, and SwiftShot was definitely one of those. Now, it's just the first of what could be many, many, many multiplayer AR apps that developers uh, can make for the iOS platform. We won't see any of those, unfortunately, until September when iOS 12 launches. ARKit 2.0 is part of that new iOS update, and it's not coming to the public until uh, presumably the new iPhones in September come out. That said, developers are going to be able to get their hands on this software very soon, and they're going to be able to start building experiences that work in beta starting basically this week.